In this video, we will count down the top 8 amazing mega projects that are currently underway in Liberia. Starting with Number 8 Construction of Kinjor Jenet Brown Road. The Kinjor Jenet Brown Road, which will connect Kinjor to Jenet Brown and other villages, has started construction in Liberia. Some of the road's rehabilitation is part of the project. Mr. Erkin Iles, the Director of Communications and Social Sustainability at Avis Oro, believes that the completion of the road will ease access to basic services such as healthcare and stop people from trading. For too long, citizens of the four Marvo towns have suffered from bad road conditions, which has led to a lot of challenges in getting access to basic services. The county authority will monitor the road construction from start to finish. Upon completion, it will be a gateway for economic growth for people within the district, said Mr. Erkin. Number 7. Liberia Inland Storage Facility Construction After Infraco Africa, CPCS Transcom, and Liberia Global Logistics Services Group signed an engineering, procurement, and construction contract with BMC Group Construction Company, work on the Liberia Inland Storage Facility is about to get started. The 4,600 square meters facility will be powered by a rooftop solar hybrid system with rooftop solar photovoltaic panels, smart switches, and monitoring systems. It is located 10 kilometers from the free port of Monrovia. In addition to maximizing energy efficiency, this system will lessen overall reliance on diesel and reduce or stabilize carbon emissions. The system is expected to serve as a replicable model for similar facilities in the area, with the potential to reduce carbon emissions across the board. The facility will help businesses optimize their supply chains, reducing stock wastage and damage, and ultimately reducing costs to end consumers. Number 6. Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zone Project the project assists with the creation of the Liberia Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zone in Buchanan, Grand Bassa County, by supplying the necessary external infrastructure to set up and secure the agri-hub for private sector investors and developers. The government of Liberia is developing a project to attract private sector investments into an agro-industrial park to enhance agricultural transformation, create jobs, boost exports, and reduce the urban and rural poverty gap. It will provide technical assistance to establish the Liberia Special Economic Zone Authority and support the development of the requisite skills and agricultural value chain capacity. The GOAL and AFDB collaborated to carry out project feasibility studies on the AgriHub in Buchanan and three agricultural transformation centers in Bong, Nimba, and Cape Mount counties. The reports were completed in 2019 and presented to stakeholders and the government in February 2021. Number 5. Liberia Energy Efficiency and Access Project The Liberia Energy Efficiency and Access Project is a component of a larger, multi-donor initiative to increase Liberia's access to electricity. Construction of a 46.1 km transmission line and a 280 km distribution line in the areas surrounding Roberts International Airport and Plebo Fish Town in River G County involves the Norwegian government, the World Bank, and the European Union. Additionally, it has capacity building and energy efficiency components. The project aims to increase the Liberian population's access to electricity, promote energy efficiency, and strengthen institutional capacity in the electricity sector. It will expand the electricity transmission and distribution network in Liberia, improve electricity accessibility, promote energy efficiency, and train skilled professionals from Lessee. Number 4. Expansion and Reconstruction of the RIA Highway President George Weah officially broke ground for the expansion and reconstruction of the Roberts International Airport Highway in Liberia. The 45-kilometer road project, which is expected to cost $95 million, will turn the two-lane road from ALWA to RIA into a four-lane major highway. The RIA Highway is the most convenient route for people, goods, and services to and from six of Liberia's 15 counties, according to President Weah. The ECOWAS Bank and Private Capital were first involved in negotiations to provide initial funding for the project, which President Wee's administration started and finished. When completed, the RIA Road will be transformed into an ultramodern four-lane highway with all the requisite lighting and road safety facilities and features. Number 3. Renewable Energy for Electrification in Liberia The Renewable Energy for Electrification project in Liberia 
aims to develop the Run of River Bed and Falls HPP with a total capacity of 9.34 MW. The power plant will be located in the Street John River in Nimba County and connect to the existing cross-border line between Liberia and Côte d'Ivoire through an 8-kilometer, 33-kV evacuation line. It is expected to become a reliable, sustainable, and affordable power source, allow grid expansion to isolated localities, and encourage the connection of a larger number of households, schools, health centers, businesses, and industries to the national grid. It will also reduce the number of fossil energy units and increase the electrification rate in Liberia. The project consists of three components, infrastructure, support for project implementation, and technical assistance and capacity building. Number two, Monrovia Metropolitan Climate Resilience Project. It is necessary to change the current approach to climate change-induced coastal impacts from short-term solutions to long-term integrated planning that involves the public, private sector, and communities at all levels of governance. By building a rock revetment to protect West Point from storms and coastal erosion, the proposed project will address the obstacles to successful climate change adaptation in the coastal area of Monrovia. About 10,500 residents of West Point will be safeguarded and given the tools they need to become more climate resilient, preventing property losses of up to $47 million for both private and public properties. Additionally, it will guarantee fishing boat launches, which will benefit the fishing industry. The Monrovia Metropolitan Climate Resilience Project, funded by UNDP and the Green Climate Fund, aims to protect the lives, homes, and livelihood activities of hundreds of families and a quarter of a million people living in coastal areas. It also protects critical infrastructure such as schools and fish landing beaches. Number 1. Liberia's Middle Income House Development Projects Liberia's National Housing Authority has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Pan-African mortgage financier Shelter Afri for the construction of 1,000 housing units for low-income earners. The agreement, which was signed between Shelter Afri, Chief Executive Officer, Honorable Andrew Chimfanda, and NHA, envisages the construction of 1,000 social housing units in five phases, estimated to cost $30 million. This NEMBAU has created a framework for a public-private partnership agreement with defined obligations from the government of Liberia and Shelter Afrique, said Mr. Chinfanda. The 1,000 housing units are a part of the National Housing Initiative of the Liberian government, which seeks to build 50,000 to 80,000 housing units throughout the country's 15 counties. Each block in the project consists of 24 units and can accommodate 40 blocks. The National Housing Authority has agreed to provide land, infrastructure, and a sovereign guarantee to all co-lenders involved in the project, while Shelter Afrik will offer financial solutions, advisory services, and research reports to the NHA. This concludes our coverage of Liberia's current mega-projects. If you love the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share it with your friends.